Hi, Jay Andrews here with Laguna Tools, and today I've got something that's really special for you. That's our new DP20 drill press. This is a full-size floor standing drill press that's been four years in the making. Down at the base, you'll see that we have modern styling on this classic form. It has a heavy cast iron base that has holes in three locations so you can bolt it to the floor or you can bolt wheels to it. There's a large oversized pad that will accept a vise or other types of clamping fixtures so you can do big, long, or tall parts from the base up. And then finally, there's a nice heavy duty cast iron column support that supports our steel column. You'll see that there's a very heavy duty cast iron table support knuckle. And this features metal handles to loosen and to tighten this knuckle into place on the column. Once these are loosened, you'll see that there's a modern design crank handle that allows you to raise and lower the table effortlessly and then finally to lock it in place with the metal ratchet handles. Those can be positioned at any location that's convenient for you. The cast iron table is a generous 15 by 22 inches and it provides plenty of real estate for just about any type of project. Right in the middle is a sacrificial insert. This is three quarters of an inch thick and it's square so you can cut your own or you can get those from Laguna Tools. And there's small leveling screws in each corner so that you can level the insert to the table. And that way if you're through drilling, you don't have to worry about drilling into the table. The table is fitted with T-slots. There's one that goes side to side and there's two that go front to rear. And those are perfect for installing metal working vices, jigs, fixtures, and other types of clamps. And then finally, we have 10 fixture holes that are positioned across the table. These fixture table holes are perfect for these post style clamps. And these allow you to position them just about anywhere on the table. Once you have these in place, simply clamp your materials down. The table T-slots are perfect for using a variety of different types of clamping options. These Laguna table clamps work perfect for odd sized pieces and they can be slid around or positioned any place across the table. And the T-slot is also perfect for metal working vices or other custom made jigs and fixtures. The table can pivot 90 degrees but it can also swivel 360 degrees around the column. In order to do that, I'll need to unlock the handles on the back. There are three. There are two small ones, one at the top and one at the bottom, and finally the large clamp for the table knuckle. With the column clamps loosened, I can swing the table 360 degrees around the drill press column. Pivoting the table is a simple matter of removing the indexing pin and loosening the clamp handle and then rotating the table to your desired degree for the work project that you're doing. And once you achieve the correct angle, lock the table back in position using the lock handle and now you're ready to set up for your next drill. Up at the rear of the headstock you'll find the main power switch and it's a paddle style switch that's easy to operate. When it's in the off position there is a lockout key that you can pull out and that uh, prevents power from being applied to the drill press when it's being serviced or in an area that it shouldn't be used. This T-handle has a fast ratio and it only requires a half stroke for a full six inches of travel. It makes it a lot easier than the traditional three-handle ones that you have to go hand over hand to drill full six inches. It's also ambidextrous and that means for left-handed users you can mount it on the left-hand side of the drill press. We've equipped the DP20 with a heavy-duty industrial chuck. This is a keyed chuck with 5 8 capacity and it's a keyed chuck because it provides more clamping force than a keyless chuck. To store the chuck key, we have a convenient holder that's up on the side of the machine and the chuck key is held in place by a magnet. There's also a small micro switch on the side that will turn off the auto start feature when the chuck key is removed. The touch screen is just like operating your smartphone where you touch the different icons to select the operation that you want. The manual controls are super easy as well. and This is probably my favorite. Going through and changing the speed of the drill press is super easy just by rotating the knob and you can see the speed uh, numbers change up here. And if you don't know what speed you need for a particular bit, refer over to the handy chart that's on the side of the drill press and that'll give you a starting point for your speed. You can also use this to select depth settings and other functions when you're in the program mode and we'll cover those more in our tech tips videos. At the bottom is the e-stop and you can press this anytime you need to shut off the drill press, stop a drilling operation, or even turn it off for the night. And you can restart it by rotating the switch. That'll restart and reboot the screen. It'll go through the boot up second section, and then you'll have the drill press returning to the same RPM that you left it at. 
Let's go through the touchscreen controls. First of all, on the bottom row, you'll have your main controls that you use all the time. The on and off button starts and stops the motor operation. You can hear the motor start when I press this icon. Over on the side, you'll see the laser crosshairs. There's a left hand and right hand uh, laser pod that allows you to go through and position your workpiece accurately so you can drill exactly where you want with the crosshair lasers. If you need more light in the work area, hit the LED button. That allows you to go through and illuminate the work area and ha you'll have plenty of light to do just about anything you want to do. If you need a little bit more light, we've pre-drilled the headstock to accept our optional LED work lights that you can find at lagunatools.com. And again, you just touch the icon to turn the light off. The tone uh, light or the tone button here is something you can turn off and that way when you're pressing each of the buttons, you won't hear the tone. The default position is to the on position, so that'll always come on anytime that you turn off and restart the DP20 drill press. Now let's cover some of the more advanced functions up in the top section of the screen. One of my favorites up here is the reverse function, and you can press this uh, icon and that'll turn on the reverse mode. The default is to the forward mode for standard drill bits, but if you have left-handed drill bits or other accessories that you need the reverse function for, this will turn it on and spin the spindle in the opposite direction. Simply touch the icon to turn that off. Underneath that is the increments mode. If you like to work in millimeters or inches, you have the option to work in either one. The default is the decimal inch that you see here, and you'll see the inch icon lit up. Touch the icon over here, and that'll switch it to the fractional inches. You'll see the fractions appear, and the inch light is still illuminated. And then finally, if you're working in metric, go through and touch that. It'll change it to the millimeter marking, and you'll see that this is a decimal millimeter. The decimal point is gone, and you'll see the small uh, numbers up here next to your main number, and that'll allow you to go through and do decimal millimeters. Next up is the auto start function. This is for production drilling. To select auto start, you go, simply go through and touch the icon, and then you'll hit the on button. The spindle won't start until it sees quill movement. So next I grab the handle and start moving it. It'll start the drill press, and then at the top of the stroke, it'll shut off the motor. That's a handy function if you're drilling a lot of holes in more of a production environment. To deselect it, touch the icon. It'll turn the drill press on because the on button is on. We'll shut that off. Next up is the auto reverse function, and this is really one of the advanced features. If you do drilling and tapping, this is the button you'll need to use to go through and set the tapping function. Simply select auto reverse, and at the bottom of a preset height, it'll go through and reverse the tap up and out of the hole. And that is available for use in the program mode that we'll talk about further. On the other side, you'll see the speed control, and this allows you to go through and set the speed for some of the program functions. Next up is the depth setting, and this will be your program depth, and this will be your actual depth. So the live depth setting will display any time that you're moving the quill. The program depth will be the uh, value that you set for the depth of a particular hole that you're drilling. You can also use the zero function when you pull the bit down, touch the top of the material, and set the zero point right at the top of the material. You'll see that it's zeroed out. Any hole that's drilled into the material will show as a negative value. Anything that is above the material when you raise the bit out of the material will be a positive value. You could return the quill to the top of the stroke, hit the zero button again, and uh, that'll reset this to, uh, to zero. There's also a manual depth setting that you can do over here at the uh, quill handle. Simply dial in the depth that you'd like to go to, lock the handle, and now that'll limit your throw on the quill to your desired depth setting. The program function is uh, an area that you can go through and store up to five different types of jobs. You simply hit the program button, that turns it into the program mode, and you can see right now I'm in program four, and I can rotate between the different values by rotating the knob and selecting the program mode that I would like to, and then selecting that by pushing the button. Uh, you can go through and set all the parameters and save these values up to five different jobs in the program mode by going through and setting that. More about that in our Tech Tips videos. To get out of the program mode, simply touch the program icon. And if you need to turn off any depth settings or any settings that remain on the screen, simply go through, push that and hold it until it flashes. It'll return to zero up at the top. And I can turn off any other features that may be uh, up on the screen. 
So now I've covered all the basic functions of the touchscreen controller, but you can find detailed information and instructional videos on each of the functions of the touchscreen controller. Go to our website at lagunatools.com, click on the DP20 page, and select Tech Tips Videos. And there you'll find detailed instructions on each of these functions on the drill press. You can also find dealers that are near you or other dealers worldwide. Thank you for choosing Laguna Tools.